Welcome in everybody to video number 15 of Liza P New Game Plus. Today we're going to pick up right after the Green Monster of the Swamp. If you guys missed that video, go check out the last one. Uh, but for today, we're going to start off with the old cryptic vessel. I know I messed up on the last video and we're not able to go back and do the jewel one, but I figured I might as well stay true with these and do all the other ones to show you. Maybe if I do my third playthrough, I'll show you guys how to do quickly the jeweled one. But regardless of the fact, we're going to start with that. Uh, so if you guys haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Like, comment, support. Any other link that you want to go see down below. Let's get this going. So to do this old vet, uh, cryptic description, we need to go... We need to go... Um, Path of the Pilgrim, and you need the shortcut. If you guys missed how to get the shortcut, I would recommend go back to a few videos um, before the Brotherhood. Yeah, the Brotherhood fight. Because I will, I show you how to get the, the shortcut to this, and it's also a whole walkthrough of this area. But, first thing you want to do, you want to go through the shortcut area. We're going to go take the elevator down. And I think we're going to have a shack to our left or here. We're around here. Uh, Oh, yeah, we gotta go talk to this man. How did you find this place? They sent you, didn't they? Those guys blabber about loyalty, but when they I don't know what's inside, and I don't really. We got the Robert Shack E. Um, so now there is a door right here. Yeah, right here. We use robber's shack key, and then you get the light, the chest, and that is it. <laughs> you got you right for being well, I love watching people fall into a trap. Never gets old. Okay, now that's it. Hey, you know what? You fell. Not the end of the world. Regardless of the fact. Wait, there is. I don't even know if I even got this. I don't think I actually fell. Good luck, guys. The robber is already gone. But either way. Oh, well, maybe I did fall. But either way, that is it. You get the life amulet plus one and the, le uh, the leech caliber. I think I actually got the life amulet. Regardless of the fact, that's it. Make your way back to the elevator. Go up. Don't die. That'd be embarrassing. And now we can continue on with our normal through uh the next one well the next one that you get will be a little bit longer than this one but either way easy easy little things life amblin is actually really good if you want to use it don't remember if i actually did use it last time or not, but we'll just take a peek once we're back but now anyways we're going to continue the main story this is where the game starts getting very interesting and um it, the difficulty starts ramping up a little bit uh green monster of the swamp was a definitely a true challenge for most bot for most people i had a trial tough time first time i played it but um let me just see what amulets i'm using right now yeah i'm not using it so. oh if you guys also notice i got four now um i used the quartz 
and put it into an extra amulet so socket. So, highly recommend getting those quartz. So yeah, this is brand new. Brand new. I saw on. Oh. I get. All oh, right, yeah, you can go backwards. Like I said, game doesn't give you any break. They just keep Keep pulling at it, or pull, or giving you stronger and stronger enemies. So, oh my goodness, hello, buddy. I still, as much as a lot of people will probably use a better weapon than this, or they get used to like parrying and stuff, I absolutely am in love still with this dagger, or sorry, the sword. It is just simple, easy, fast. And for me, it's kind of what I love. Dude, that scared me the shit out of me the first time I played that game. I played this game. Um, I might switch other items eventually. Like I said, like I've been leveling up a few other ones, but I still need the upgrades for them, so I can't fully upgrade them. So currently, I'm still using what I used for the first playthrough. We're gonna go back. I remember we want to go get that eye. Yeah, this is the item that we saw from below, which is a fray notebook. That's it. They like to try to blind you to try to miss that spot so you fall to your death. That earthquake. Okay, happen. We'll use the. Use the antidote. Oh, right. We're at the Craig's train station again. So, familiar places. remember if this was before or after one of the sections coming up and now it's all coming together We're doing really good. And also, I don't know if you noticed, but I was gonna get in health back too. So again, leveling up that extra amulet and I can't 
remember if it was the amulet that does that for me or if it was just a stat that I got max min lead. Yes, the amulet, recharge amulet restores HPs continuously. So I just put that on after this last video. So it gives me a little bit of health when I'm not in battle. This is optional here. This part. scary I actually might go and reset oh, quartz worth it anytime you can get a quartz worth it I might go and reset just so I can use my string for because we don't have to come back down here and we only have like what two enemies um, I do believe we have to jump down there, so... Um... Yeah. yeah. Only a couple enemies. Across there, unfortunately. Oh, wait, you can. Oh, yeah, this is the shortcut eventually. Yeah, okay, never mind. Uh, we need to go down there. So, I'm. You can either go on top of there, drop down, or just do what I just did, which might be beneficial to do that way, just because you can get the advantage. We already know this guy's going to be jumping down. Look at that. It's healing me up without having to use any uh, sticks or anything like that, which is so nice. Slow, but it's nice. Ow. Oh, dude. those guys so much oh my goodness I hate those guys so much because they like smack you and they 
They're so aggressive. They have so much health for like such a little, little creature. Holy moly. Okay. That was ugly. And I didn't even see that first one. Uh, you have something optional here if you want. Was it worth it? No. Was not worth it. I was just waiting for the decay to go off. Decay just eats away your blade. So there's a couple things down there. This is the shortcut. Now make sure you grab this. This is that little balcony, little walkway. So if you need to go and reset, go there. Again, only a couple enemies to go through if you just re reset. Uh, I got another big boy. wasn't a good idea to charge in when he was about to swing, but okay. Um, we do have a big boy down there as well. On the plate to go back down and healing, but we're okay. I think we'll be okay. Um, remember there's something over here. There's a big boy in the middle, so um, and if you want to go grab this stuff, you can. 100% up to you. No, 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 no. Dude. Okay. You don't need anything else other than my my body. Picked everything up. Should have just ran. That was my own fault there. Um If I if that guy wasn't if the guy would have died it would have been over anyways but he, uh, let the decay get over you or get over um, keep repairing 
your your blade. You got a big boy coming up here anyways. Thing is you don't have to take them down once here but later in the game they appear multiple times so fortunately that will not be the last time we see him fortunately uh, this area is rough just because rough just because a it's a tight warrior and b you're gonna recognize this area because this is where you started off in the game literally this is where you started the game literally full circle now um i don't know if this area allows you to actually get the jeweled um he's now it might don't know but either way i don't i'm not 100 sure because when we started i believe we went into there anyways regardless of the fact we are gonna lose him off traffic off topic it kind of bugs me that i can't go back and get it i wish i could but regardless of the fact, you can. If you didn't, if you didn't feel comfortable taking that big boy down, you could literally come up here, climb up here, go over to this shortcut area, open this up, and then you'll be right back at the stargazer. Which is, when you think about it, it is super. Super crazy how like intertwined everything is. I was mad the first time that happened because A I was I died and I had to go all the way around, but B it's um it's just nice to have a shortcut. Um where did we come from? We came up from there. Let's go just check to see if it's here. I don't think there is. We are coming up to an optional boss right away, everybody. Um, it is an optional boss. You do not need to take it. You do not have to face it if you don't want to. Um, wait, is it an optional boss? I, can't remember. I think it's an optional. if it's an optional boss or not. Either way, we are coming up to a, a boss fight. I think it's an optional. Up through there. There is something over here. Kidding me, you're not dead. Oh, my goodness. Okay, you know what? I am going to go. Dude, those things are crazy. 
Oh god, it's not done yet. Master shaft, nice blade, okay. So it is worth coming over here. Crazy, but worth it. Um boss that I was referring to is So ideally what you what you could do is if you wanna straight if you wanna continue, I think you go up, but if you want to face the boss it's this right through here right now. Um, actually, what is up? I think actually up. Oh, he's dude. No, let go. All I wanted to do was see what was up here. Oh, okay. So it wasn't mandatory to come up here. It was just a chunk. Um, you could wait for your health to come up, but I'm just gonna fight him. You lost, little lamb. Hand over all you got. All right, brother. Let's do this. <laughs> Block my parry and it's just off by a little bit. Welcome to the city of the future, and the future is that. Dude, why? In a city where everything is upside down, the strong rule, not the why. that freaking jump back man oh your axe is broken in a city where everything is upside down the strong rule not the why Dude, you're jumping, you're backing attack. Like I just healed. Why is why isn't it working there? Okay, that's why. Wow, 
Robert. Robert. A robber weasel. Anyway. That was ugly. I think that I think he took me a few tries in the first game. I just know personally his, his back step and his attack are just gnarly. That's why I put the bigger weapon up to destroy it. Um. Oh. Dude, that is just so jank. Jank, jank, jank. You know. Mr. Robber. Yeah. Hey, where are you, butter? Butterfly, where are you? So you're in that deer so attack. I know you're. Uh, I knew it. Okay. That's actually really good. Stabilizer, Alchemist Booster. Really good. Like where? Getting me you stalk me off that. Okay. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. Getting a, getting a few little hits that it shouldn't be hidden today, but I'm dusted off. You got this. Okay, we got a stargazer. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. Oh, we're out here now. Yep. Um, I can't remember if there's a phone here or not. I think before we go outside, we're gonna go clean and. No, I believe there's actually a, a door here. Those infinity keys. Yeah, right here. Okay. Um. Okay. Now, question is, do I want to end the video here, or do I want to just go to the I think we're gonna end the vid. Uh, you know what? We might be able to go to the next one. But before you do that, you wanna make sure you heal up. Because there's some bit pretty big boys out here, and they hit pretty big. I think we might go to the next Stargazer. We already took down an optional boss. Try to make some progress. I know. I know the next video is we're going to have. Um, gonna have a couple bosses, I think. No, we 
have some doggos. We got the big boy over there. Um. I still think we are, we can get that jeweled one. I'm I haven't given up on it yet. He has like a spasm before. Ah, uh, okay. I remember, I remember dying on that guy in the first playthrough because when he, even though you stun him and all that, he still does that crazy, that crazy like spasm attack afterwards. Like his body twitches up, which is crazy. That, that just that hurts a little bit it hurts it's okay doing okay we are gonna clean up every little thing and we're gonna kill big boy I think there's also a doggo here too the doggo and a guy with the sign so but sadly I have used up all my puppet string and I am not in a good spot right now that's okay got dogs Dude, that last little uppercut got me. Alright, doggo. Or dog goes. gotten everything here that we can get so far so we're good we're good we're good I just used one too, so that's nice. Yeah, we got a big boy. Oh, I don't have my puppet string either. Ay, ay, ay. No, 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 no! 
was a tank I had to definitely use some of my oh, okay all right we are at the next stargazer which is a glorious moment so uh, this will when well, there's no enemies here this will be where we wrap things up. So, guys, if you like what you see and you want to see more content, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button, comment, and if you guys also want to go see me over on Twitch, the links are down below. Or you can go to twitch.tv slash mudveins. Either way, I appreciate you guys being here.